All right, today I'm presenting on the Arduino. Uh, the Arduino is a uh, small little microchip, um, open source, and I'm actually giving the presen presentation off the Arduino, which is even cooler, right? And uh, so here we see the, uh, the Arduino all in its ANSI glory. Uh, remember back in the uh, 90s when we were on the BBSs? Yeah, th that's, that's what this little guy produces. Um, so what is a microcontroller? A uh, microcontroller is a uh, small computer on a single chip. It includes uh, the processor, the memory, and input and output so we can talk to the, the real world. Unlike uh, most computers, you, you just see screens and stuff like that. And they're cheap. Um, the little Arduino chip you can get for like two, three bucks uh, just for the chip. Um, and they're found everywhere. Everything that you have in consumer devices probably has uh, a handful of microcontrollers. Um, and it's typically Harvard architecture, which is a little strange. Um, the, uh, the program memory space and the RAM space is actually separate, and so it presents some interesting programming challenges. Um, the Arduino, um, like I said before, it's open source. Uh, it's really a C++ library. The Arduino itself is really a C++ library. It's not really the device. Um, it runs on Atmel's Atmega chips, and um, the devices, uh, the newest devices, uh, the Uno, which just was released a couple weeks ago, um, it used to be called the uh, Duminevel, or whatever. Nobody can pronounce it, and I think that's why they went with Uno. It's actually Italian for 2009. Um, what the Uno kind of brings to the market is uh, a standard shield layout, and each of these are shields, so you can expand it with different I.O. peripherals really easy. And uh, for a beginner, it's just, you know, super simple to get into. Um, and there's a lot of clones uh, with that same pin layout, which kind of brings a whole other level of community. One of them being is the Netduino, which actually runs the .NET micro framework. So you can write your code in C Sharp and actually download to this chip and interface with all the things that I'm interfacing with today, which is really cool. Um, some of the other kind of things they have is Nano, which is actually a very small version of this chip. Um, which actually presents, you know, kind of some other interesting options. Um, the ID that you program this in is uh, it's Java-based and it runs under um, a thing called processing. It's based on processing, and that's another open-source project to do kind of um, just general programming for very easy beginners to kind of get into. Um, so, the Uno is. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Uno. The Uno is a. It runs at Atmega uh, 328P which has a whopping 32 kilobytes of flash memory, uh, two kilobytes of SRAM, one kilobyte of EEPROM. EEPROM is essentially where you store your settings so that through power cycles, that's where you store those. It's running at a whopping 16 megahertz. Um, there is no turbo button. That is it. Uh, 16 megahertz is all you get. Um, the I.O. includes 14 digital, um, some of which are pulse width modulation, which I'll talk about later, and six are analog input. Um, so you can read various signals. Um, so here's a very basic, the very first thing you get is blink. Um, blink just turns on and off exactly what it sounds like. Um, it's using one digital output and uh, to configure it, you set the pin mode to output um, and essentially all you do is sit in a loop, constantly changing pin mode back and forth and digitally writing it out to that, to that pin. It's just that easy to kind of create this. Now, if we wanted to create something a little more fun, kind of like the, uh, the glowing Apple, uh, you know, power light, uh, just show you how easy it is to do that, um, this is essentially a fade. And this is actually using pulse width modulation. And so pulse width modulation is kind of a way to fake out analog signals. Um, what you see on the bottom left there is actually the, the uh, representation of the signal. It's happening at 490 hertz. And the time that it's on is um, kind of giving you the brightness. So the longer it's on, the, lo the brighter it is. The shorter it's on, the less bright. And it's just LEDs are switching on and off so fast that you don't actually see the flipping. It's actually going at 490 hertz. Standard light bulb is 60 hertz. So, you know, obviously you're not going to see that blink. Um, and the code, again, is very simple. Um, just going up and down. And then we analog right out to the uh, device. The uh, next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually read stuff. Um, the example here I have is a light sensor. 
and this light sensor is basically picking up the ambient light around it. And as a, again, the code is very simple. You read it in with analog read, and then do a printout to the console. In this case, I'm printing out to the screen there on the bottom left. As you see, 746-ish. If I move my hand over it, it goes down. If I go up, it goes up, back and forth. And so that's kind of a neat little way to kind of get ambient light. And then, of course, you can trigger off that to turn on the light and whatnot. Um, what I trigger off of is I actually trigger a servo. Um, right here, we have a standard servo uh, that you know a lot of RC people use in hobby. And so as I put my hand in front of it, we have a very simple light sensor. Um, arrow pointing, obviously, the amount of light that you see. And again, code becomes very simple. Uh, we just write it out to the, read it in from the, the light sensor and then write it out to the servo. Uh, very simple uh, to do. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much the Arduino. Um, and just to kind of give you an overview of the, uh, the board, um, we're running the Arduino on the very bottom here. This is the bottom. The next shield up um, is actually an Ethernet shield that actually provides Ethernet. But what I'm using it for is the SD card. Um, I actually have four gigabyte SD card, and that's where the slides are actually presented off of. And then the top is kind of a little proto shield, so you get the light, and you can kind of do your own thing on top there. And then we're going over here to this VGA connector, which is actually called the micro VGA. And it's, again, there's libraries for it for the Arduino, and it's very simple to kind of interface and output VGA signal. So that's pretty much it. That's the Arduino. Thank you.